Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey, guys, and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Ciao. Ooh, wait, the tea just got piping hot. So, honey, I was in the comment section of a Love and Marriage Huntsville preview clip here on YouTube, and I saw someone write down from season eight, episode one, the brother looks like, damn, she's still stuck on this man. Referring to Melody still talking about the whole Martell and Melody storyline, which brings me to these comments about Melody getting paid for her pain. Now, it's no secret that Melody's castmates are coming for the Melameters this season. I look at it this way. The Melameters are like Beyonce's beehive, honey. They all have a purpose and they serve it well. And so you can't hate the lady for connecting with a group of women and some men who can relate to her. I've read so many comments where people are ready to get off of the whole Martell and Melody's conversation with one comment reading, I don't care what y'all say, the whole storyline is tiresome. Move on to something else. And then someone else commented by a raise of hand who is tired of Melody and Martell. And honey, really, no matter what platform you are turning to in general, people's feelings are the same way. It almost makes you want to black out the show because I'm going to be honest, I was not expecting for the revenge plot video to be mentioned this season. It was a little extreme for me. Yes, it's for good TV, but what does it really accomplish at this point by mentioning it on the show? What does it really represent? And so for me, looking at the entire picture, I do believe that Melody has to finish what she started but every time it seems like she is closing the door Martell crosses her boundaries by trying to hurt her and embarrass her and it resets the process of Melody finishing what she started because then she has to go back and explain the shenanigans that he's taking her through on social media to give context to the story and in this case it opened up with the Melody and Martell storyline because she had to go to the police station to file a complaint against this man for threatening her to put out this revenge plot video and so at the end of the day he didn't care how it made himself look by putting this out on social media because he cared more about trying to make Melody look bad than caring about and worrying about himself and now he has an arrest record with a mugshot and so I'm actually proud of Melody for showing women the right way to handle an ex like Martell who wants to embarrass you because a lot of the times as women we try to handle it ourselves we try to hide it we think that we can do more by just not saying anything and then we also try not to get law enforcement involved someone wrote it's sickening especially that women who said Melody shouldn't have called the cops on Martell what was Melody supposed to do continue to allow Martell to threaten her with revenge plot just because a man has kids with a woman and he's a black man doesn't mean he should get a pass my friend went through this and lost her life in front of her kids and their dad did it y'all gotta stop that bs and yes we never thought he would do that but he did so y'all before i wrap up this video you know how much longer will we have to sit through another melody and martell storyline that really is the biggest question and i'm just gonna answer it like this we'll see. sit here for however long it takes point blank in the period so those are my thoughts leave yours in the comment section of this video as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys in the next video